this lesson I'd like to look at how we can change uh, the captions and translations for an instance of HCRN using a feature known as inline translation. I've just logged on as the system administrator and I'm going to navigate to look at a screen for the company. I'm going to look at uh, the company summary screen and looking at the information for a company called Gatecom. Now the the fact that it's Gatecom is not important. What is important is that we can see here a number of very clear different captions uh, both across the screen for the uh, tab options and within a screen like the the summary screen. So if I look at a summary screen all of these elements within inside the interface are translatable and that we can provide different captions uh, for an organization. So if I want to do this, the easiest way of changing captions uh, with inside HCRM is to use a feature called inline customization. Uh, we can do this by navigating as the system administrator into administration, customization, into translations, and then opting to select the inline translation mode. Now what you see now is next to every prompt uh, or every caption inside uh, the system you see a little asterisk which uh, opens up the hyperlink to uh, allow us to conveniently edit the translation for that caption. Well, I wanted to change information about the company so I'm going to go off to the recent list. Um, where um, as you can see in these menus, uh, words like company and person and clear and main menu or recent even don't have an asterisk next to them and they look like they're not open uh, to inline translation. Uh, what it does mean is that you would have to use one of the other techniques that I'll be talking about in another lesson. But here I've arrived on my uh, summary screen and uh, we can see the uh, usage of uh, company as a translation up at the top. Now in, in my organization we may want to change the word company that is used to organization. That's the business terminology that uh, the customer is using. So I'm going to click on the hyperlink and a screen opens up which provides a very quick way of finding the translation uh, to allow me to change it. Now the, this, this translation is actually stored in a metadata table with inside uh, Sage CRM called the custom underscore captions table um, and uh, we can see that each of the translations uh, has been opened up and you'll notice by the way that a translation is uniquely identified by uh, something called the caption code and the caption family. That combination together provides a unique, tran unique um, uh, identification for this translation. So I'm going to change uh, this to uh, organization. and I can save that now it might not immediately change in the translation until the screen is refreshed so the save has been made and as I click on the summary tab again to call up the screen again we can see that that uh, has changed now it's changing that one location you'll also notice that the word company is used uh, in other locations and this is because as we go into here we'll see that the caption family is different the the actual um, the, the actual caption code caption family combination is different at this point so we'd also have to change it here this is what we were saying about the uh, each caption is uniquely identified within the system So this is the easiest way of changing captions. 
and uh, it's the safest way of um, carrying out any customizations of the captions within uh, the system. And if once we've finished changing these, you can see that that's, that's made a change now by redrawing that. Uh, and once we've finished, it's just a question of uh, returning uh, and into the administration screens and turning off inline translation mode. And that will have had an immediate effect. So if I uh, log off from the system administrator and log on as another user, any, any user who has been using that language would be immediately affected. I've just managed to use the wrong log on there. So I just log on as a user, Susan May, who is also uh, an English language using user. Uh, and we can see that as we navigate off to a company, we haven't changed yet the translation for company here, but if I look at Gatecom, the summary screen for the particular company, we can see the two instances of the translations that we changed uh, have been altered here. So we've got organization displayed and organization displayed here as well. So that shows how we can use inline customization, inline translation uh, to uh, allow us to change the captions being used inside Sage CRM.